Hey, what's up? I'm Austin Griffith, and I'm working on a front end for the Moloch DAO. Uh, when I build a front end, usually I like to start by just setting up some kind of like really gross-looking sandbox, and then kind of playing around with how the contract works and how it feels, and kind of it's kind of some of the edge cases. And then as I figure it out, then I move over to building a nice-looking UA. So this is the nasty part. This is the gross UI. Uh, so basically what I wanted to do is set it up so you could deploy the Moloch with one button click. And to do that, I had to make uh, one change, and that was to roll the guild bank deployment up within the deployment of the Moloch. So normally you would deploy the Moloch and then provide it with a guild bank address. But in my setup, I'm going to just have it all deploy all at once. So we're going to deploy this one with two founders. It'll be this guy here and also this guy here. I'll just call them player one and player two. Um, they're each going to have 100, now I'm, 100 shares. And then um, we're going to shorten this big time. Maybe like set it to like 20 second um, periods, three periods for voting, three periods for grace. And then uh, maybe set it up with like 0.1 ETH as the deposit. You know, much smaller but easier to test with, right? Okay, once your contract deploys, you'll have a link here uh, and you can come back here anytime and share this with anybody and they can come here too. Uh, obviously, this is a really gross looking UI. It is not pretty at all, but it helps us kind of play with the contracts and see how they work. So, uh, we can see here that the total voting shares are 200. We're currently in the zero period. We can kind of move through these periods one at a time. Uh, and uh, the guild bank is empty. There's two members. They each have a voting share of 100. So along with this, I also deployed uh, some coin and another coin, just uh, coins to use as tribute. And uh, let, I guess let's get started with our first proposal. Let's say player one uh, will um, ask for more voting shares. So uh, this would be a different page where they get to type in like who they are, what they want. Anybody can go to this page. Anybody can type stuff in, and it'll probably be saved in some kind of centralized database, some kind of like Web 2.0 store. And it'll also have these approve buttons, right? Then that'll go to another page where then uh, members can choose to champion these uh, requests, these proposals. And so if a member comes along and says, yes, I want to do that, then they will uh, actually submit the proposal, put the stake up, everything to keep it, like the stake is there to, for like civil resistance, basically. Okay, so now there is this new proposal that is up. Um, it will open in period five, it will close in period eight, and then there'll be a grace period until period 11. There's no votes on it yet, but if we just go ahead and update this period, we're waiting for period five to show up. There we go, so now we're in period five. These, these buttons change color, we're allowed to vote. Let's say this guy votes yes. Let's go ahead and vote yes from the other dude too, just because. Okay, he'll vote yes too. And let's say he'll do the same thing, set up another proposal and approve his tribute tokens and submit them. And then, uh, of course, he'll say yes to his own thing. This probably is going to fail because we haven't rolled yet. We need to roll into the next period. I should have done shorter periods to make this demo look better. Uh, what else is there to show here? There's a bunch of uh, events at the bottom. This stuff over on the right is the blocks being mined and the transactions going through. Okay, so now we're in the next period. Good to go. Okay, so he is, of course, going to vote yes. Now, something strange can happen here because it's passing, right? He's good to go, and this is going to look like it's going to pass, but... Um, this this edge case will happen where player one is going to get more shares and also the total voting shares is going to increase. And that will cause this seemingly passing proposal to fail because it won't meet the quorum eventually. And that's one that's kind of like why I have this little sandbox is like I want to be able to play with this a bunch and figure out like what what's weird, how does it work? What are the edge cases? It's just a good way to kind of test it without actually writing tests yet. And I think you know we'll, we'll write plenty of tests also. 
Uh, let's see, where are we? So we're waiting for, before we can close this out, it'll be period 11, and we're at period, so we're into period 10 now, halfway through period 11, or period 10. Oh, we are in period 11. Okay, so one more period here, and then we can process this. This is where this weird edge case is gonna happen. So this is closed, and it says it's passing, right? So it would pass, but as soon as we process this, player one is going to get more shares, and therefore this uh, 100 shares is going to lose its quorum, and so once it processes, this is gonna fail. So just weird cases like that are kind of strange. Um, it's, it's something to think about, but it's not really a huge deal, right? And, and so another thing that's kind of added onto this is you can't have any yes votes if you want to rage quit, and we should probably get into that next. So let's say, um, well, he'll still have yes votes, so this won't work. Uh, let's say we want to bring in a new character also. So uh, let's go to player three here and have player three uh, go ahead and approve his own, approve 10,000 some coins and uh, 500 another coins. And then that would go to kind of like a web 2.0 end, right? And, and then uh, some members would come along and choose to champion it or not. So let's say this guy just comes along and sees that. and He's like, oh yeah, I totally want this dude to be part of it. And we could see that he's already approved, so he's good to go. I'll submit that as a new proposal. And we'll see that show up here. And oh, we can process this old one, so we don't need that one anymore. And then uh, let's go ahead and say, yes, we want to bring this dude in. And uh, let's even say this other guy's like, no, I don't want that dude to be part of this. So player two doesn't want player three to come in. He's kind of sour because of his weird no quorum issue that happened earlier. So he's actually going to vote no on this dude. And uh, that'll take a bit. Oh yeah, we can look at now the, the bank holds uh, 10,500 and it'll hold another one because that's just that single tribute that's come through. Uh, when this tribute comes through that will double up. But basically there there is this value now that every, every um, share, every total voting share has this value of 33 of these coins and 1.6 of those coins. So so at any time you can trade your voting shares for loot, and that's what uh, that's what we're going to do as player uh, player one. So let's say we jump back over to player one here. Oh, we already are. And what period do we need to be at? Okay, so basically this this he knows this is going to pass. There aren't any other of those weird edge cases. He knows it's going to happen, and he doesn't like it. And he's like, screw this, I'm out of here. So he can he has 100 voting shares. He can liquidate those voting shares and collect loot tokens. And those tokens represent um, the, the tribute that's been paid. And then he will, oh right, this goes up because the shares are now, there's only 200 voting shares. I, that, that scared me for a little bit that that changed because it could, shouldn't, but it, but it does and it should. That's why we have this nasty sandbox. We can play around and see how everything works, right? Okay, so let's say he's going to approve, and really, he'd be better off letting this thing pass. Now that he has his loot tokens, he should let this pass, and then he should liquidate his loot tokens. But whatever, we're, we're going to approve and redeem and GTFO. All right. So now he's going to redeem his loot tokens, and we can see if you watch his, he's at what, 100,000 and 50,000, we should see, yep, those tokens come in, and he's out, right? So player two is done with it. He, he no longer has any voting shares, he rage quit, he took his shares and went home, but the guild continues, right? It, it still has value, it still has voters. Um, as long as, as, long as you know, the rest of the people agree, everything is good, so we can go ahead and see where we are here. We can update the period and process. Oops, that's not going to... Uh, 
it's still loading. Uh, go ahead. Oh, we can't process yet. Maybe we can if we update this. So, uh, I mean, that's basically it. We kind of covered um, all of the little pieces within this. You can fire it up. Uh, if you go to GitHub, there's a README. So, so the, the normal Moloch is exactly how it used to be. I haven't even put in a pull request to the contract yet, even though I've made some changes uh, on my end. Um, but there's an app folder there. And within the app folder, there's another README. And within that README, it tells you how to fire this up. It's basically just a Docker container. And then you run one command within that Docker container, and all of this comes up. So uh, let's... Real quick, let me jam through any changes I made to uh, the contract. Um, the guild bank is one of them. I just made the proposal a little bit differently. You'll see these comments uh, in the GitHub repo. Um, oh yeah, the the no voting shares. I kind of thought it would be cool to actually like allow more voting, allow you to submit a proposal that gets zero voting shares. It's just a way for people to contribute directly to the guild bank since you can't, since it's it's owner only and only the Moloch can send to the guild bank. If you do a zero vote share proposal, it's basically a donation to the guild bank. Uh, I cleaned up that to just make it look a little bit better. I don't know if it's the way to go. I had to put in some getters. You'll see this Austin comment and everything. Um, Oh, this, this tricked me for a while, but basically it wasn't getting set there. Yeah, now it is. Um, uh, this little thing right here, this was, I think, greater than, and I couldn't get it to work when I first started playing with it, so I just did greater than equal to, and I think that covers if there's only a single proposal, or, or maybe it wasn't getting to the very last proposal. And I think that's probably all... Um, again, there's another greater than or equal to. Uh, there, there's a couple of places where I just had to put in some more safety checks because safe math was throwing every time it did a, subtra a subtraction that was wrong. But that's it. Just like little safety checks to make sure it wasn't going to have safe math throw on it. But uh, I'll get this contract committed and probably put in a pull request. But uh, everything's up and you can play with it. And it's really nasty right now, but progress is being made. I'm kind of getting a feel for how it works. Um, it'll be cool to kind of just wrap about the game theory and see how certain things are going to work, but uh, all good for now. Happy Thanksgiving.